to the place that I scouted earlier today, Palo oh. and then I'm going to be hitting Sunrise up at the spot that I scouted earlier today, Polulu, over where I scouted earlier today, Loa La Pajo. What's up everybody, it's about 9 a.m. I am headed to the airport right now, flying out to Hawaii today. This is the first trip in quite a while since the COVID lockdown, haven't been tra traveling a lot for work. Gonna be doing a lot of photography, video stuff out there. I got the two anamorphic lenses, the Sirui anamorphic lenses that I'm gonna be using for the travel video. Have a little concept behind that. Also rented a Syrup Genie 2 slider, three axis slider, so I'm gonna be doing a little bit more advanced time lapse of stuff. It should be a good trip. It's about 16 hour flight total with all the stops and layovers. So I'll be getting her at night. Call an Uber right now and I'll see you guys in Hawaii. I've arrived here in Hawaii finally. Getting through the border was a little sketch because I had to get a COVID test at a, an approved location 20, 72 hours before the flight, before the final leg of the flight. But of course, they told me the results were gonna take 72 to 96 hours. So that didn't really make sense. So I went to another Miami-Dade location to get my COVID test. And so I just walked up there in line, showed them my negative test results from the Miami location and they let me through. So I guess I got lucky there. Picked up the vehicle, had to upgrade for the Jeep because I'm hearing that there is snowfall in Mauna Kea, the super high volcano that we're gonna go check out a few days into the trip. I'm here at uh, Pololu Valley Lookout. You can see it behind me. It's gonna be tomorrow's sunrise location. Just came out here. It's about an hour and a half drive to scout it out. There is a hiking trail down here. I might get here a little bit uh, closer to sunrise than usual because I don't really wanna be hiking on this hill at night. I've arrived here at Pele as well. It's not an official location, but that's what it was called when I looked for it online. You had to walk all the way to the left from the parking lot. A little tough to find, but I eventually found it. Came here, set up the, uh, the video with the anamorphic lens on the syrup slider that I rented, and just got some little close-up artistic shots at the beginning. It's a well, kind of like Thor's well, so it's just water bursting out, not as much of a fountain as Thor's well but still some decent cool shots. There's some nice seaweed around the sides. So then after doing some of that, I switched to the time-lapse. Got the time-lapse mounted on the Syrup Genie right now. Got my secondary time-lapse set up over by a tide pool. about 5.30 a.m. I've arrived here at uh, Pololu Valley Lookout. It's pitch black, uh, a little bit slippery. It's, um, it's kind of foggy. I think it might have been raining earlier. It was raining sort of on the way here, but proceeding with caution here. Got uh, all my gear with me. Sunrise still an hour away, so I'm trying to get down to wherever the uh, end of the trail is, which is supposedly a better view than the one from the parking lot.
just wrapped up here at Pololu Valley. The sun didn't really peak towards the end. I put the drone up anyways and just got some B-roll. What's going on this afternoon is I'm going to uh, be meeting at the dive shop at 2 p.m. because I'm doing the manta ray night dive. There's gonna be a little bit of an afternoon dive and then we're gonna wait for a nighttime and then go back in. Should be pretty awesome. I got the housing ready, gonna put the wide angle on there. Got the strobe, all that good stuff. And pretty excited about that because I've seen some awesome photos online. So I will see you guys in the water. So I just completed the uh, quote unquote manta ray dive. The reason why I put it in quotes is because we didn't actually see any manta rays on this dive. We did see a lot of cool stuff. There were some dolphins that swam by, a couple of monk seals, a very classic Hawaiian seal, a whole bunch of eels and, and other cool stuff. Uh, this little cuttlefish uh, squid guy that was hanging out. But um, overall, awesome experience. Plus I got to test out the camera. You know, the flash was a little bit iffy, getting the settings right, too bright, too dark. Just working on that kind of thing. I'm also doing a dive tomorrow morning, bright and early, 7.45, so pretty much just going to head home, transfer some, some photos and footage, and, and go to sleep. Uh, Luke actually arrived today, finally, and so he should be at the hostel. So tomorrow is going to be the dive, I'm also checking out of the hostel, and from there we're going to be driving to the Volcanoes National Park. So moving on to other parts of the island, so that should be cool, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.